Hey, good morning. It's morning where I am. What time is it where you are? Comment below and let me know. Today, I want to talk about being open and specifically, I want to talk about being open after disappointment, being open after failure. And when I talk about being open, it's like, what? What is she talking about? What does she mean being open? I've seen a lot of women do this. When you have a disappointment, when you have a failure, when you have a setback, you lower your expectations and you lower your vision, right? Of what is possible because of what you've experienced. And I want to tell you first off that what is possible and what you've experienced are two completely different things. Just because you have experienced setback, you've experienced disappointment, you've experienced failure does not mean that the goal or the experience that you want for your life is impossible. What changes in you when you experience a setback? What changes in you when you experience disappointment? Paying attention to that is extremely important because that's what's going to determine whether or not you are going to stick to your goal. That's what's going to determine whether or not you're going to be able to overcome the challenges that life brings. You have to be in touch with what I call the woman within. And I have a way of being in touch with the woman within and it is through this. It is through journaling. This is my journal. I write in my journal almost every single day. Sometimes I write pages. Sometimes I write just a few sentences. But it is one of the three daily appointments that I keep with myself and that I encourage all women to have. Every woman needs three daily appointments, one with God, one with herself, and then her appointments with others. But far too often, what we do is we fill our calendars with appointments with others. We fill our calendars with all the things to do and all the places to be. And then we say, I'm going to make time for myself when I'm finished doing all the things, then I'll have my me time. That is life in reverse. And as long as you live life in reverse, you're going to live life with regret. You are going to have to put yourself first. And for some of you, that is going to sound very selfish. And that may even be the feedback that you're getting when you try to put yourself first. But understand this. If you walk out into the world and your main focus is outside of yourself. You have lost track of who you are. And the very people that you are trying to show up for are not getting the real version of you. You have to give yourself to yourself first. You have to be full of yourself in a good way. Complete, healed, whole, productive, hopeful, And then you can move forward into the world. So every single day when you have, you pick up that journal and you have that daily appointment with yourself, what you are actually doing is you are resetting the woman within. You are refilling the woman within. What does this actually look like? This is not activities. And there is this theme of soft life. And we see the videos with this woman and she's, um, she's lighting candles and she's taking a bath and she's reading a book in her egg chair and there are cushions all around and there's soft music playing and the lights are low and it looks so calm and it looks so peaceful. But can I tell you this? Those are outward things and those are not wrong in their own right. Those things are not wrong. But if your heart is hard, you can never live a soft life. And when you pay attention to the woman within, when you take the time to sit with your thoughts and your feelings 
and your goals and your desires and you process that you learn how to process that there is a softness that comes to you and that softness is your strength that softness is what brings hope and that softness is what brings openness that softness is what allows you to forgive to forgive yourself to forgive others and to move forward with freedom believing that all that stuff you put on your vision board way back last year or in January all that stuff that you're disappointed about because you haven't seen it happen yet that's what makes you believe that those things are still possible you cannot ignore the woman within and try to create a life around yourself that looks good when you are waging war on the inside. One of the fundamental elements inside the vision sequence that I teach is insight. And there is no insight where there is no reflection, where there is no introspection. If you do not have regular times with yourself, where you are sitting with yourself and talking to yourself about what is happening in your life, what is happening in your head, what is happening in your heart, you are doing yourself a disservice because then you'll just be moving forward doing things but not feeling fulfillment. You could be checking all the boxes and not feel like you are accomplishing a single thing if you do not pay attention to the woman within. So if you have heard nothing today, hear this when I tell you, pay attention to your heart. Pay attention to what is happening to you. Pay attention to your motives. Do you even know why you want to accomplish some of the things that you want to accomplish? If you are in a situation where you're not feeling fulfilled, do you know what it is that you do want? Do you know what tweaks you need to make in order to have a life that you actually want to wake up to every day? Do you want to jump out of bed excited about your life, looking forward to what the day holds instead of rolling your eyes and pulling the covers back over your head because you don't want to face that thing again? If you want that, you're going to have to pay attention to the woman within and other people can't do it for you. Other people can support you. Other people can love you. Other people can help you. But other people cannot give you the insight into your own heart, into your own mind, your own soul, and your own spirit. I pray for the woman who is unfulfilled, doing all the things and feeling like she's doing everything wrong. You're not doing everything wrong, but you may be neglecting yourself. There are a lot of women who don't know why they're doing what they're doing. They don't know why they're here. They don't know what the purpose is for their life. And I felt like that for a long, long time. And learning my purpose and creating a vision for my life around that purpose is one of the most fulfilling things that I have ever experienced. The vision that is ahead of me for my life is huge. I am nowhere near accomplishing half of the things in my vision. And yet, I have joy every day. Do I have bad days? Yes. Do I have meltdowns? Yes. But I have joy. And that's what I want for you. So if any of this has resonated with you and you have stuck to the end, give me a sparkle emoji. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and let's stick together as you evolve and as your vision evolves. I really hope this helps. 
Blessings on your journey. I'll talk to you soon.